Wish I had a mango tree In my backyard With you standing next to me To take the picture It's from your lips I heard you say Can I have you Caught up on what to say I said you do I said you do I said you do I said you do It was Ladies' Day for the Cooks Hill Rugby Club, the day that Luke and Kate met. Luke was playing and Kate was at the Mary Ellen Hotel spectating. Introduced by mutual friends Tim and Maz. Luke was wearing a brown leather women's jacket or brown dress and was there with his sister Patricia and one of the groomsmen Mitch and his wife Lizzie. Luke said he knew early on that Kate was the one. It was a feeling from the moment they met and from their first few dates. He found them totally compatible as people and thought I can easily spend my life with her. As he started to get to know her, spending more and more time with her, understanding how grounded and complete she was, that was when Luke started to think, this is love. Here we go. All of your voice, lots of loud noise, as I can now officially present Mr. and Mrs. Maddox! someone started to take Luke's attention. So you do what you do nowadays to find out what's going on. You stalk Facebook. <laughs> sure enough, there was this long young lady named Kate popping up fairly regularly on Luke's Facebook page. Kate, I'd like to formally welcome you to our family. Um, it's a great to see you and Luke up here together today. And uh, on that note, I'd like you to charge your glasses and be upstanding, and we'll propose a toast to Luke and Kate. Luke and Kate. So, the so 
your married life, there'll be good times and bad times. There'll be fun times and sad times. But as a team, I'm sure you will make it, just like Julie and I have. corny but Kate has completed my life. I feel completely comfortable being around her and nothing has ever been too hard when it comes to making our life together. Luke has one weakness, his ligaments. <laughs> they are terrible at performing the role in his body. for rugby, or should I say champagne, led me to you. Whilst I don't think you will ever forgive me for missing your greatest game of rugby ever, as the brain pulled down, I didn't even know you then, but he still will not forgive me. I think I have now watched enough Roosters games to make up for it. After living in our studio for 12 months with our darling dog Harley, you are my rock. You calm me down, you encourage me, you support me. You are the best cook. Uh, sorry, Mum, yes, he outdoes you for the lamb roast. Um, and for those that didn't know, he did cook, oh, make the um, strawberry jam today. I, it was just a minute. Um, since we met, we have been inseparable, and you have taught me so much in the three and a half years we have been together. I love you with all of my heart, and I am so glad to spend forever with you. Hey. Can you please join me in congratulating the newlyweds, Kate and Luke, as I can now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Luke, you can kiss the beautiful bride. Yeah.